Timescales in Pro Tools are how Pro Tools delivers time to us. Now, if I was to go to View, down to Main Counter, we have three options. We can look at time in minutes and seconds, or bars and beats, or samples. Now, I'm going to switch to bars and beats, and you see here the main counter switches to bars and beats. Also, the start and end points of, of any editing we might do, the grid position and the nudge, all, all of that changes to bars and beats. I can go to a contextual menu here and go to minutes and seconds, and you'll notice that everything I mentioned before changes to minutes and seconds and milliseconds, the, the three zeros. And here we have a time ruler, which is in minutes and seconds. So let me go back to, to bars and beats. There we go. And we have bars and beats. Now, this is a time ruler, and these are the counters. I can select through this little menu here to view a sub-counter. So now the main counter is in bars and beats, and a sub-counter is in minutes, seconds, and milliseconds. So, for example, if I want to know where we are at one minute, at one minute in the song, we'll be at measure 24. Now, I can also show here, in this little contextual menu, minutes and seconds. So now I have two time-based rulers, bars and beats, and minutes and seconds, like, like I have in my main counter. There are other rulers, which are called conductor rulers. So if I go here, I can see, for example, markers. Now, this doesn't have a... it's not time-based as such. These are time-based rulers, the, the light grey and dark grey. And the other conductor rulers are more to do with the music you're making, the meter, the tempo, the key, and what, what chords you're using. This, this, this is linked to the, to the edit page, for the MIDI editing page. Now you'll notice this all takes up quite a bit of real estate. So you can hide or show, and also a shortcut. If you hit Alt on, uh, on PC or Option on Mac and click on the titles, you can hide them.